purpose of this video is to help you win arguments against evolutionary biologists, cosmologists, and anyone with scientific knowledge who claims that your beliefs are wrong. The first thing to be aware of is that if you pretend to know more about a subject than you actually do, you might seem stupid. So you'll need to have a basic understanding of your opponent's arguments. Let's begin with the Big Bang. Cosmologists believe that the universe began to exist 13.7 billion years ago. They call what happened the Big Bang. This name is a bit misleading because it implies an explosion that you might be able to see. What they believe is that all the matter, energy, time and space had a beginning. There is no such thing as before or outside. So when you say, everything has a cause, so what caused the Big Bang? You show that you don't know that time itself began at that point. You need to remember this. Perhaps at this point you are wondering why do they believe this when the Bible suggests that God created everything 6,000 years ago. They look out into the universe, figure out gravity, the speed of light, the motion of planets, stars and galaxies, take millions of measurements, make as many if not more calculations, cross-reference, check and recheck, and see what the evidence suggests. As far as they have been able to calculate, the universe has been expanding for the last 13.7 billion years, and we are a very small part of it. Cosmology is just one branch of science. It is not clearly defined and merges with astrophysics, astronomy, physics, chemistry and biology to name but a few. Most scientists agree with the conclusions of other branches of science, not exactly through faith, but more through an understanding of how science works. Basically, you watch carefully what is happening, make notes, devise experiments, ask questions, learn from past mistakes, check, check again, write down the conclusions, have a guess at what might happen in a situation based on previous research, build hypothesis, and if they turn out to be wrong, find out where it went wrong and continue to refine. Science is a continual process which strives to get closer to a complete understanding of how everything works, from subatomic particles through living organisms and all the way to the universe itself. Most scientists agree that there will always be unanswered questions, and they are happy with that. The satisfaction is in the process of learning and discovery. You need to be aware of this when taking on scientists. To be blunt, you need to have a certain amount of scientific literacy to be able to argue with science itself and be taken seriously. Now we move on to evolution. Evolutionary biologists believe that humans are animals and that we are distant cousins of the chimpanzees and even more distant cousins of all other living organisms on the earth. They believe that the description of Adam and Eve being the first two human beings as described in the book of Genesis is wrong. They believe that your great 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 grandparents going back six million years were the same ape-like creatures as the great 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 grandparents of modern chimpanzees. That is what they mean by saying chimpanzees are our distant cousins and the ape-like creatures who lived six million years ago are our common ancestors. Here is a little thought experiment. Imagine it were possible to have a photo of your parents when they were young, and a photo of your grandparents when they were young, the same of your great-grandparents, your great-great-grandparents, and so on, all the way back to the common ancestor. You would have a stack of 300,000 or quite probably more photos to look at. If you laid them out side by side in the right order and then go to the earliest ones from six million years ago, pick a dozen or so generations, they would all look like the same ape-like creatures which don't exist anymore. There would be small differences in facial features but they would look like the same animals. Now go to the middle of the long line of photos 
and you will see more human-like apes, different from the common ancestor and different from modern humans too. They no longer exist either. The change is gradual, over thousands of generations and millions of years. This is what evolutionary biologists believe, and it is worth knowing this if you wish to argue with them and be taken seriously. The reason they believe this is based upon fossil records, carbon dating, and the fact that our DNA is more similar to chimpanzees than any other creature alive today. If you wish to dispute carbon dating and what fossils are, it would be worth familiarizing yourself with those subjects too. What I have described is a very brief overview of a small part of the theory of evolution and cosmology. So my advice to those who wish to disprove evolution and show that the universe is only 6,000 years old is to learn a little about the alternative theories. You will then be less likely to appear in Thunderfoot's next installment of Why Do People Laugh at Creationists?